Yo, well, got to be quiet because Braden and I are at the first field. It's opening turkey archery. This is archery, opening day of archery. And uh, your boy has never taken one with a bow, so this is going to be a first for me if it happens. We got spit and rain conditions. It's not the best. The birds are wanting to stay in the trees. We are, we've already done a bunch of scouting, a bunch of scouting, and the birds are just wanting to stay up in the trees and not get out into them uh, fields and start migrating around yet, but got old Braden over there. He brought an arsenal of video cameras and pictures and quality this and quality that. And if you guys are looking for the best turkey hoodie ever, check it out. Go pick up one. I will link them down below. I'm getting all geared up, and we're gonna get after it. So uh, don't mind us. We got the Hawaiian Ninja, and we're back in backyards, literally in backyards. We're urban uh, bow hunting here, urban turkey hunting. I uh, forgot how close the houses were, so any of you that are going to drop a comment, you're going to be like, you got to be careful around all them houses. Look, it's an arrow. It's not a 308. done some walking, done some clucking, and we haven't heard anything give a response, so, like I said earlier, we really have crappy weather, we're dealing with spit and rain, and turkeys don't want to get up and move when it's, you know, when there's weather, so, taking a breather because I'm old, and, um, and try to make it happen. What are you doing, Paul? <laughs> Chalking my call. <laughs> Chalking that call, son. Oh, Braden, I swear he's like the oldest, youngest fellow in the land. spot I'm gonna be sitting right here Braden's gonna be filming over there here we go just kidding that's that's Braden see I have a chalk box and that's what I use to turkey hunt and uh Braden has a mouth call and a box, so he was like, man, leave your calls at home, I'll do it. Braden doesn't bow hunt, he has a bad shoulder, but he really wants to get together and film as many turkey hunts as possible. So if you guys like these turkey hunts, drop a thumbs up, let me know. Because if you guys like them, I will bring you as many as I can. <coughs> We're trying to decoy a goose in with our mouths and turkey decoys. Here comes another one. 
<laughs> oh, that's funny. Well, most action we've had all day. Calling in, calling in geese with our mouth and turkey decoys. There he comes back. I used to keep a goose calling. Hey, I'm telling you, we need to start having like a rap battle series called Honk Wars, dude. I'm serious. All you guys that can honk good with your mouth are here. <laughs> oh, if you guys can honk good with your mouth, drop a comment down below. And if there's enough of you that do the whole or that stuff and can do it really well, I'll start. A freaking honk wars and we'll have battles just like rap battles drama <laughs> drop a comment down below i think it'd be hilarious but entertaining at the same time got the old turk decoys out there just decoying in them honkers <sighs> so i thought this was pretty funny i've had these decoys out here since the last foul friday <laughs> Got some old yard ornaments here. Got the dive bombs out here in the yard. Hey, hey, thanks, playing the wife. Uh, I don't know, she's kind of on the fence. When I first put them up, she thought it was pretty funny, but now that I left them up for, I don't know, probably a week almost now, I don't know. We'll see. I'm gonna try to leave them up though. I'm gonna try and leave the decoys in the yard for as long as I can. I'll keep you guys updated how long the wife actually kind of, if, if she sees this video, she's gonna make me take them down. So we'll just leave it at that. I thought this was pretty funny, just the honkers, how they did it. Did we, did, uh, did I shoot a turkey? No, not even close. Didn't even film one coming into the decoy. But we did film some honkers doing it all sorts of dirty up on them turkey decoys. I thought it was funny. And I have been walking around the house for the last two weeks, ever since I went blue cat fishing. If you guys haven't seen that video, go watch the big blue cat fish that I, that I did. I was up there with Chase and uh, Jacob, and Jacob, he can honk with his mouth extremely well. I mean, he's just that stuff. I know a lot of you guys do this out there. I'm serious, I wanna start a contest, a video series, kinda like Foul Friday, but called Honk Wars, where you guys, the fans, the viewers, all you viewers send in your video clips. It can be between 10 seconds, a minute, whatever. And we pair you up and uh, we have kind of contests like a rap battle. I know it sounds crazy, but I just think there's a lot of you guys that do this. And it sounds awesome when you get really good at it. So let me know down in the comments if you guys would even remotely be interested in something like that. So I went and put a ton of corn out today and some cameras. I'm linked up with Gerald and Braden now and Ross, we're all gonna be, I'm gonna be filming a ton of turkey hunts, so hold on to your seats. We should have a lot of dead birds on the ground come, especially in a week when shotgun opens. You guys have met Ross on some big waterfowl hunts this last season, and he has two banded turkeys. Two banded turkeys that he wants to kill on video, so be looking out for that, especially here in a week when shotgun opens up. But guys, I thank you for watching. If you guys are looking for a sweet Bottomlands camo hat, we got them here at Ducks. I will link them below. I hope you guys are having great luck with the beginning of your turkey season. A lot better luck than me. I can decoy waterfowl, but I can't decoy turkey. But we're going to kill them. We're going to get into them. Believe me, we've, I sat out probably 200 pounds of corn this morning. So got to get it done. We'll see you guys on the next one. Have a good one. Subscribe if you haven't and like this video if you did. We'll see you on the next one. Peace. Uh -huh.